The migration of the Vietnamese boat people happened in around 1975 after the Vietnam War. The boats were not intended for navigating open waters and would typically head for busy international ship lanes 240 kilometers to the east. The lucky ones would be rescued by freighters and taken to Hong Kong close to 2,200 kilometers away. Others landed on the shores of surrounding Southeast Asian countries such as Malaysia, Thailand and the Philippines. The unlucky ones would continue their dangerous journey, sometimes lasting over six months long, suffering from disease, thirst, hunger and pirates before some of them finally found safety. The Vietnamese boat people were those in the former South who fled because of the new communist government. The Vietnamese who really desired to leave the country were people who worked for the US, Viet Vietnamese men who fought in the war for the South, and the Vietnamese who were in office or in any position in the South Vietnamese government. 1975 was the year people began to migrate from Vietnam to into different countries. The fall of Saigon triggered a wave of migration. The push factors consisted of political oppression, poverty, continued war, racism, and an and, and unstable economy. People that worked for the US and people who fought against the North had even greater push factors. The core factors were political freedom, equality, and a stable economy. The Vietnamese built people sided with the Americans during the Vietnam War. Therefore, their political system was undoubtedly a poor factor. The people that left the country were forced onto small, poorly made boats that were packed full of people. On the open seas, the boat and its people encountered treacherous weather conditions and Thai pirates. One third of the people that were on the boat died due to harsh weather conditions, illnesses and food shortages. Many people on the boats lost wives, husbands, children, parents, siblings and relatives. Some families were forced to split up due to lack of money and could only afford one person to go on the boat. When the people arrived at the destinations in Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia and Hong Kong, only some of the people were accepted into the country, preferring to accept married couples, hard-working people and women over 18 years old. The others were put into refugee camps where 863 people were known to be raped, 763 were physically attacked and killed and 489 people were abducted.